We are STEM scholars, and we're here to teach you about the world. In the previous video, we talked about a sorting algorithm called bubble sort. This video will talk about merge sort, which is faster. This is the algorithm for merge sort. First, split each list of numbers into smaller and smaller lists until each list only has one number in it. Then, put the lists back together the same way you took them apart, but put them in the right order by comparing the first number in each of the smaller lists you are putting back together. This may not make a whole lot of sense now, but pay attention as we sort the list, and I think it will make more sense. Step 1. Split up the lists. This is the same list we sorted in the previous video. It is unsorted now. 7, 18, 4, 30, 42, 25, 23, and 11. Here I have underlined the two lists we will split this one into. Now they are split. Now I've underlined the lists within those lists. Now we have four smaller lists. Now you can see the smaller lists within those lists. Now we have eight lists, all with one number in them. Step two, merge or put back together the list. Our list is now broken up into eight lists of one number each. We want to put these back together into four lists of two numbers, just like we had before we split them up into this step. Compare the first number of each list to the first number in the list next to it. 7 is less than 18, so it will go in the first spot of its list. 4 is less than 30, so it will also go into the first spot. 42 is greater than 25, so 25 will go into the first spot. And 23 is greater than 11, so 11 will go into the first spot. Now, the other halves of those lists will go into their lists. 18 goes in next to 7, 30 next to 4, 42 next to 25, and 23 next to 11. Now we have four lists with two numbers each. Again, we compare the first number of each list with the first number of the list next to it. 7 is greater than 4, so 4 will go into the first spot in that list. 25 is greater than 11, so 11 will go into the first spot in the list below it. Again, we compare the first item in one list to the first item in the list next to it. For example, 7 is less than 30, so 7 will have the next spot in its list. And 25 is greater than 23, so 23 will have the next spot in its list. Now we compare the remaining numbers. 18 is less than 30, so it will go in the first item of its list. And 25 is less than 42, so it will go in the first spot of its list. Now we put the remaining numbers in their spots in the new lists. Now we have two lists of four numbers each. Now we put these two lists of four numbers into one list of eight numbers. Again, we compare the first number in one list to the first number in the list next to it. Here we compare 4 and 11. 4 is less than 11. 4 goes in the first spot of the list of eight numbers. Now we compare 7 and 11. 7 is less than 11. This means that it will go into the second spot in the list of eight numbers. Then we compare 18 and 11. 18 is greater than 11, so 11 will go into the third spot in the large list of eight numbers. Now we compare 18 and 23. 18 is less than 23, so 18 will take the fourth spot in this list. Now we compare 30 and 23. 30 is greater than 23, so 23 will take the next spot in our list of eight numbers. Now we compare 30 and 25. 30 is greater than 25. This means 25 will be the next number in our list of eight numbers. Finally, we compare 30 and 42. 30 is less than 42. This means 30 takes the next spot in our list. 42 is all that's left. It goes into the last spot in our list of eight numbers. So here we have it, our sorted list thanks to merge sort. 4, 7, 11, 18, 23, 25, 30, and 42. It's sorted, and that was pretty fast.